Lawrence will throw. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. Down quickly and force a fourth down. Giving to the big tight end on fourth. And he will have first down. Young off the five and keep it moving. Now it's first and ten after a costly penalty there on fourth down. On play action, Lawrence. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And he's got his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. They'll run for the first time with Travis Etienne. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Touchdown, Jaguars. Travis Etienne. Matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. On second and ten, Lance, man open, that's Ray Ray McLeod. And he is finally forced out of as they've got it with a first and ten. Throw left side complete to McLeod. And he ball down the field, they had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, Lance has it knocked free. The ball is loose. And did the Jaguars come up with it? They did. Following the fumble recovery, Lawrence flushed out right. This one complete to Christian Kirk. Two extremes. First carry, he went for a bundle. His second goes backward. And how many times have we seen that happen? Because you get that big carry, and you come back, and you're all fired up, and sometimes you force a run a little bit. Don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Now Lawrence on first down. And he will find Ridley on the left side. Play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. From the shotgun, Lawrence. He rifles one that's intercepted. Oh, they try a lateral on the return, and now the ball's loose. And I think they are going to get this one back. In general, those laterals, they can be so risky, and we see the risk that can be involved right there. And you just have to know, and, and we've seen it because we've been at a lot of practices, it's not something that's practiced very often. You know, in that situation, you don't see guys really working on it. Maybe... And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. And Lance now to throw. His throw is going to be incomplete. Incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing now is Lance. Steps away to his left. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Mitchell. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football? and knocked him down to force a fourth down. Lance to throw for it on fourth down. And looking for Kittle, but it's intercepted. Rayshon Jenkins picks it off, and the Jags are going to take Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Lawrence. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And the Niners are going to take possession. I'm out as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. From the 44, Lance dancing to his left. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Jaguars are going to take possession here at their own field. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. 
It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the One play, and they're already just shy of midfield. ETN once more. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the Will on the defense was at five straight runs. Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. On second down, a run with ETN. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Coming up. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. On second down, here's Mitchell. And some room. And now off to the races down the right side. Touchdown, 49ers. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Flush to his right. And there's Manhurts, the tight end. And he'll have it past midfield. Lawrence, now this is ETN on the draw. And some room to work. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. And they're going to get this beyond the 40. But the drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Slant route connects with Debo Samuel. And they take a knee. But play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. On third and short to give to the tight end. And he's going to have the first down. First and 10 now from the 30. Lance looking to throw. And that is incomplete. Ready if a tackle happens in bounds. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And the comeback may stall out. It's intercepted. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. And the Jags have just about sewn up this football game. What he was trying to do was to get outside the pocket and see if he can find a big play downfield. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use it to their timeouts, as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. The carry here for the big tight end. It's a pickup of two, and that's good. And they'll indeed take a knee. Good break. Now 
Flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for Mike linebacker position. Partner, there's times you think you've timed up the quarterback's cadence. You think you've got a read on it. He now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this? 